Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning about productivity index. In the previous video, we have discussed about analytical productivity index, productivity index which is calculated in analytical manner. So in this video, we will talk about test-based productivity index. In this productivity index, that is calculated based on well-test data. All right, so productivity index is the measure of the ability of the well to produce all right it's simple enough to understand it is a very very important parameter that will govern the performance of our well this is the starting point of our formula so flow rate can be calculated using this formula this is a constant and ko is effective permeability to oil H is net pay thickness. This is reservoir pressure, average reservoir pressure, bottom hole flowing pressure, oil viscosity, oil formation volume factor, RE is drainage radius, RW is well bore radius, and of course S is skin factor. All right, from this formula, we can extract the formula to calculate analytical productivity index, which is this formula j is productivity index and as you can see this is productivity index that can be calculated in analytical way so if you have information regarding permeability thickness viscosity oil formation volume factor drainage radius well bore radius and skin you can calculate your productivity index but we can also calculate our productivity index using well test data in that way, we will use this formula. So productivity index is flow rate divided by the drawdown, average reservoir pressure minus flowing bottom hole pressure, right? So flow rate divided by pressure drawdown. So it is a simpler method to calculate productivity index. And this is our case. We have achieved pseudo steady state flow regime during production so it's a must to predict the productivity index we must achieve pseudo steady state flow regime and we can know whether or not our production is under pseudo steady state flow regime based on flow monitoring and flow analysis and we need to also meet this condition that our system should be above bubble point pressure all right the rest of our pressure should be above bubble point pressure in that condition, we will only have single phase flow. And in that way, we can use this formula to calculate our productivity index. If we are below bubble point pressure, we cannot simply calculate our productivity index using this method. We need to use empirical method like Fogel, Standing, Fedkovic to create our inflow performance relationship. But let's assume we are now above bubble point pressure. And we can know that situation using pressure monitoring. And let's say our average reservoir pressure is 4,000 PSIA based on pressure survey or pressure monitoring. And flowing bottom hole pressure, PWF, is 2,500 PSI, also based on pressure monitoring. And we perform well testing to achieve flow rate of 1,840 stock tank barrel per day. All right, this is the case. And we can easily calculate the productivity index using this formula. Let's do it. Flow rate divided by the pressure drawdown, which is average as of our pressure minus flowing bottom hole pressure. All right, so our productivity index is 1.23 stock tank barrel per day per PSI. And you can remember that we have the same value as what we have in analytical productivity index in the previous video, which is shown by this case. We have the data and we calculate the analytical productivity index and we get this value, 1.23. And now in our case, test-based productivity index, we calculate the productivity index and we get this number, 1.23. All right, so it's very easy. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next video.
थैंक यू